Hey, everybody, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today, we're going to be talking about three reasons why women want to be in the streets, but end up regretting it. Okay. So before we get started, you guys, go ahead and take this time out right now to like the video, share the video, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that notification bell. That way you guys can be alerted for future dope discussions. Now, without further ado, let's hop into number one. All right, you all. So the first thing that we have on our list as far as a reason why women want to be in the streets but end up regretting it is their friends are in the streets, right? When your homegirls are out there being reckless, being ratchet, being buck wild, you want in on it. You see them having a good time and from the outside looking in, it's looking like you're missing out. So it's like, okay, since my homegirls are doing this and they seem to be enjoying themselves, why can't I? I should be able to enjoy myself too. I'm young, right? Or I'm pretty, I'm cute. So why can't I have in? Why can't I indulge? And that is one of the reasons why a lot of women will want to be in the streets. Hey, I see my homegirls bar hopping, club hopping. I see my homegirls in a rotation of different guys. And let's not sleep on the fact that when it comes to a lot of these females out there that are in the streets and they're dipping and dabbing with different guys, a lot of the times those guys that they're dealing with, they're paying, right? They're paying to play, absolutely. And it can look very glamorized when, you know, you see your homegirls out here without a care in the world, doing whatever they want to do with different guys, again, partying, being reckless, being wild, being free, having fun, and having people cash out on them, right? Um, you want a piece of it. You want in on the action. Um, however, a lot of these young ladies don't understand that those things come at a great cost, at a great price. So yes, you may have guys out there while you're in the streets cashing out on you but those guys are wanting things in return they're wanting actual favors in exchange for them cashing out right but to the naked eye once again it's just looking like you have these guys giving you free money but baby we know ain't nothing free okay ain't nothing free in them damn streets okay so if guys are paying up, they're going to want you to bend it over nine times out of 10, you know? And again, we're talking in reference to being in the streets. Guys are not just cashing out for no reason. I need something for this. I mean, this is going to have to come with a little bit of sucky sucky, you know? So uh, unfortunately, they don't realize that they're having to sell themselves at a great cost until after they're already indulging in street activities right they don't realize that hey i have to sell this or i had to do something strange for a little piece of change in order to have this amount of fun or um to have these different guys cash out on me or interact with me and engage you know but that's ultimately a reason why a lot of females can want to be in the streets Initially, I'm seeing my friends have a good time, have men cash out, party, uh, live wild, live free. I want to end on it, but they don't realize that that comes at a great price. And a lot of times that great price is um, your body, your soul, your mind, right? And in addition to this, um, you can outgrow your friends. Your friends can outgrow you. So that's another level and layer two, number one, as far as them wanting to do these things because their friends are doing it well. They end up regretting it not only because they had to sell themselves, right, at a great cost in order to get those things, but their friends change up or they change up. Again, maybe 
uh, my priorities change and I come to realize this is not uh, what it's cracked up to be, you know? And so here I am trying to pattern my lifestyle after these groups of females that are for the streets, but I'm not really in alignment with them anymore. So I ended up changing myself and morphing myself into becoming something that I'm not just to fit in with a group of females that I've outgrown, right? Their priorities change or my priorities change and it's just not even a good fit. So that is a reason why they can end up regretting being in the streets, right? Hey, I have children now or hey, my, my, my friends have children now. Um, I'm single and my homegirls, they have boyfriends now, you know, so now they can't be in the streets or I can't be in the streets as much as I wanted to, you know, and it's just like, Hey, this is just not the ideal life that I see for myself or the people that I once kicked it with don't see the value in kicking it how we used to. So all the way around, it can just become this thing that backfires on you because, again, we grow, we evolve, we change. Um, people no longer want to be associated with certain things or they don't want to uh, indulge or engage in certain activities. And then you just end up sitting there looking stupid. Because it's like, dog, I, I did all of this all to mature or all for my friends to mature and outgrow these things and want to switch up and not even have a genuine interest in kicking it, in partying, in having guys cash out on me for all the wrong reasons, if you know what I mean. You know, so what am I even doing it for at this point? My friends are no longer in the lifestyle. I don't want to be a part of the lifestyle anymore. And so, again, I'm just all around regretful. And then to figure out all of the things that I had to sacrifice in order to indulge or engage in this, it really wasn't worth it. Me having to sell my soul, sell my body, sell my integrity just for this. Yeah, it wasn't worth it in the end. And a lot of females end up feeling that. All right. But that is the first thing on our list as far as a reason why women want to be in the streets, but end up regretting it. All right, but let's go ahead and move ahead along to the second thing on our list and let's hop into it. Okay, so the second thing on our list as far as a reason why women want to be in the streets but end up regretting it is because they felt like initially being in the streets would bring them some sense of empowerment, right? So women ultimately want to feel some sense of empowerment, which is why they want to be in the streets. Hey, I get to once again, do whatever I want to do. I can be buck wild and free. Um, I can take my power back by showing these guys that I am the one that is in control. I am the one that caused the shots. You are now in my rotation of men, right? Um, you don't screw me, I screw you type of energy, right? And, and so they initially feel like being in the streets grants them this sense of empowerment. I feel strong, I feel in charge, I feel in control, and I feel dominant. And a lot of females can search for um, that sense of empowerment by way of being in the streets. Now, let me get into how this backfires, okay? And before I do, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe, okay? Now, the reason why this backfires is because by these females trying to find their sense of empowerment by way of being in the streets, it actually diminishes their value. It cripples them. It does not empower them or embolden them. It actually cripples them. And it's because by them being in the streets, they start to develop these reputations where they're being known for being reckless, for being wild, for being easy, for being ran through, for just, again, just being these ratchet type of energies. And ultimately, no guy really wants to be involved with them. The, the guys that they really want don't really desire them like that. Um, or... 
men just start to distance themselves all together because they see how this female operates and maneuvers and they want no parts of it. So even if it's not a situation to where it's like um, the guys don't want them per se, you know, a guy could initially be interested, but due to him feeling as though, you know, she's maybe a little bit of a risk or a danger or a threat to him and his reputation, it's like, nah, I'll pass. Cute girl, seems to be a fun girl and all of that, but I don't want to take a chance on involving myself with such a character and then it ends up backfiring on me. Again, I already know what type of character I'm dealing with. This is the type of female that feels like, you know, being uh, somebody that is actually empowered, right? Makes her a woman that can essentially walk all over a guy. Um, the type of female that can essentially um, discard of guys whenever she sees fit. Like this could just be a, a, a strong indicator of a female being a gigantic red flag to a man when he sees that again she feels more empowered by her being reckless and being in the streets even if he finds her to be attractive even if he would maybe initially entertain her it's like uh don't know because again her value is diminished due to her being so easily accessible by her being again in the street so much by her um, having and adopting certain characteristics or personalities that are off-putting to, again, a certain type of man that maybe is looking for um, more substance. And that ultimately falls into number three. And we're going to get into that right now. Now, the third thing on our list, you guys, as far as the reason why women um, want to be in the streets but end up regretting it is because they want popularity. They're looking to gain some kind of traction, if you will. Hey, I know that if I put myself uh, on the scene and if I carry myself like I'm a fun girl and, you know, I act as ratchet and reckless as I possibly can, I'm going to get a lot of eyes on me, whether that be men, whether that be females, whether that be entertainers whether that be uh, certain networks, hey, the, the more ratchet and the more wild and free I am and reckless that I am, hey, I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get popular. And a lot of these females equate popularity to money, to wealth. You know, they don't understand that, yeah, you can be popular but still be broke. They don't understand that. It's like, look, I don't give a damn. I want this amount of likes on my Instagram. I want th this amount of subscribers, this amount of followers, because, hey, I'm going to be popping. And if I got to sell myself out, if I have to be in the streets being a, a ratchet ass home to get this popularity, because, again, they equate that to money, I'll do it. This is why you see. A lot of these celebrities, and I use that term very loosely, but you see a lot of these celebrities, whether they be Instagram models or cash app coochie queens, you know, that's what I call them. Um, but you'll see them doing the most ratchet and reckless things. So it's like, you're disgusting. You know, why are you, why is she doing that? Why is she selling herself out to be like this whore? You know, it's just no other way to put it. Like, she's whoring herself out. Why is she doing that? Well, she wants popularity. She wants fame. She wants a certain, a, a certain amount of attention, a certain type of attention, because she feels that that will uh, surely be followed by uh, financial gain. Right? If I can get enough eyes on me, enough attention on me, I'm going to have people throwing money at me, whether that be, again, the entertainers, the rappers, the uh, football players, basketball players, whatever. If, I, if I'm able to get on Zeus Network, you know, VH1, hey, I'm going to do it. And I know the quickest and, sh and surest and easiest way to get those type of eyes on me so I can get this popularity and essentially and ultimately money is by doing the most ratchet of things. If I got to be in the streets, cool, I'm going to do that. 
If I got to be out here um, showing how actual I am, hey, I'll do that. But at the end of the day, I bet I get it. I bet I get to that bag. And the way that this backfires is once again what we just touched base on. You know, you're known for all the wrong things. And men of substance don't want you. Right? Let's even go as far as getting into women. Right? Women of substance, morals, values, don't want to be associated or affiliated with you. Let's get into that. Because I think a, a lot of us, we can just settle on the part of men not wanting these women down the line. You know, a lot of times we go into the whole narrative of, well, hey, by you being in the streets and you uh, dirtying up your name and reputation, a lot of those guys that you want to settle down with, they don't want to settle down with you. But what about the what about the women? What about the women that could actually bring value to your life in a friendship? In a quote unquote sisterhood. Now, y'all already know when, it, when we talk about the sisterhood, a lot of times, you know, we're referring to, again, the for the streets, pass me chick type of energy. And if y'all don't know what a pass me chick is, that is a term that we coined over here on Danica Marie Dope Discussions. And it's basically a female that gets passed around, uh, a female that gets passed up by the quality men that get surpassed in life by the quality women, okay? So you ultimately can hinder yourself from developing very genuine interactions and connections with a a uh, healthy, balanced, quote unquote, sisterhood. Not the not the ratchet past me chick sisterhood. Okay, it's, it's levels and layers, right? But it's like, oh, I would have, I would have loved to hang with her, but hanging with her would actually bring a lot of negative energy my way. Associating with her would probably contaminate and dirty up my reputation and my name. People would look at me sideways if I affiliated with this type of chick. So no, I, she can't even be my friend. I can't even sit at the same table as her. I can't help her. I can't network with her. I can't build a, a, a bond with her. Not only that, but women of quality and substance may find you to be the type of female that they cannot trust. Hey, if she's for the streets, that means she don't have no boundaries to the limits that she'll go. Hell, she'll probably try to sleep with my man. She'll probably try to throw me under the bus to get ahead. Like, it's just a, a lot of negative connotation that can come along with a female that is for the streets, right? So you may miss out on certain friendships, certain relationships, business opportunities, all because you have dirtied up your name and reputation so much so nobody wants to deal with you. And it was all because you were chasing popularity. You thought that you would find some sense of empowerment. You thought that it would be cool for you to involve yourself in this type of lifestyle because your friends were doing it. And look at you now, regretful, remorseful, wishing you can clean this up, you know? And I'm not going to lie, you can clean it up, but a lot of the times, you guys, the damage is so great. Nobody trusts you. Nobody believes you. And you just end up just on the down and out. This is why it's very important not to even get involved with, you know, the street life, the ratchet life, you know, the doing the most of life. You know, don't even don't even involve yourself in that. Don't even entertain females that are like that either, you know, because they can ultimately pull you and drag you into certain activities or environments that are just not suitable for your overall well-being. All right. But that is my list, you guys. Y'all let me know what are some more reasons that women want to be in the streets and also let us know why they end up regretting it. All right. But let me know also if you agree, disagree. Um, ladies, have you had any female friends out there 
that were in, involved in certain activities and you had to distance yourself. I also want to know, were you that female that was in the streets? How did that turn out for you? All right. We would all love to know. Um, but y'all like the video, check the video, subscribe. And again, you guys, please share your thoughts, opinions down below, because this is how we ultimately evolve and grow, you know, learning from each other's past mistakes, learning from each other as far as not making certain mistakes. What did, what did you choose to do that was the right path so that other people can take those paths? So that is why I am just so adamant about us sharing, all right? We don't have these type of dope discussions to bash anybody or anything of that sort. We're just here to help and ultimately make the, the right and uh, better decisions moving forward, okay? But again, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.